Hi, this is Nerdmedic and in this video let us talk about the nerve supply of pinna. Anatomically speaking, pinna has two surfaces. One is the lateral surface, another one is the medial surface. However, for this video, let's consider this lateral surface to be the anterior surface because logically see, whenever you look at a person from his or her anterior perspective, this is the surface that you see from anterior and this particular surface remains posterior. So for the sake of this video, the lateral surface is considered to be anterior and the medial surface is considered to be posterior. All right. As far as the nerve supply is concerned, we will start from the center and we will go towards the periphery. So we can see that in the center, in the external auditory canal, we have facial and vagus nerve supplying it, both from the anterior aspect and from the posterior aspect. This is the area supplied by facial nerve and vagus nerve. Next, the lateral parts of both anterior aspect as well as posterior aspect is supplied by the greater auricular nerve, as you can see over here. So in our image also, we can see that both in anterior aspect and posterior aspect, the lateral part of the pinna is supplied by greater auricular nerve. Now focus on the superior medial part of the anterior aspect. It is supplied by auricular temporal nerve. So in our image also, the superior part of the anterior half of the pinna is supplied by auricular temporal nerve. And finally, if you focus on the superior portion of the pinna from posterior aspect, you will see that lesser occipital nerve supplies it. So in our image also, we will have lesser occipital nerve supplying the superior aspect of the posterior half of the pinna. Now, how do we remember them? The mnemonic for the nerves on the periphery are LAG, L-A-G. L stands for lesser occipital nerve. You can remember that by remembering that this nerve is more closer to occipital bone. Then the next is A, that is auricular temporal nerve. Again, this nerve is in close proximity to temporal bone. And the last one is greater auricular nerve. It supplies a great extent of the auricle, so LAG. And in the center, we have the cranial nerve 7 and 10. However, the video doesn't end over here. Even though life is not fair, in our video, things are fair enough. See, the greater auricular nerve has not got the entirety of the supply. Some part of it was scooped out by cranial nerve 7 and 10. So who will repay the lost area? The creator beautifully repays the lost area to greater auricular nerve by giving it the supply of the angle of the mandible. I'm sure you have come across this while studying the branches of trigeminal nerve that trigeminal nerve supplies everything except the angle of mandible or angle of jaw that is supplied by greater auricular nerve. And how will you remember that? It is just the leftover part which the greater auricular nerve could not get in supplying the external auditory canal. I hope with this simplification, you will now be able to remember the nerve supply of pinna and the angle of mandible. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share this video among your friends and peers in your medical school and do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you never ever miss a video from my side. Until then, bye bye.